I've got eggs, bacon, hash browns, and a waffle maker. Let's see if I can make an entire breakfast in this waffle maker. First things first, I'm gonna cut the bacon to the size of my waffle maker. It is a small waffle maker, so probably one slice of bacon, I can do like three pieces, depending on the size of your waffle maker. So I'm just gonna do that for all of the bacon that I'm using today. And I believe thin bacon, the thin sliced, is probably the better way to go for this. I think it'll cook a lot quicker in the waffle maker. Okay. I'm gonna crack two eggs in my bowl. Okay, so my waffle iron is preheating, and this is a small one. You, you could probably do a, a bigger size waffle maker. This is just what I'm working with today, and it does help that it's nonstick. So I am going to uh, get my bacon. Let's go ahead and get like two of these. And... I think one more. Yeah. You know what? And let's cook it. Okay, so the sizzle has slowed down. So, oh. So what I'm going to do, I think, oh see, I'm gonna actually flip it over and then let it go again for another two minutes. Okay, once again, oh, oh, this is done. Okay, so this is ready. I'm gonna take it over to my baking sheet here and just let that hang out. And I could do a couple more, but just to, for the sake of the recipe, I'm just gonna move things along with the other ingredients. Okay, so now it's time for the hash browns. Let's see here. So I'm going to take some of my hash browns and right onto my waffle maker. You just want a thin layer. Oops. I'm going to add some pepper. I like onion powder. I like smoked paprika. This is optional. Pinch of salt. Time to cook. Okay, so while my hash browns are cooking, I just wanted to say, you totally can toast bread in the waffle maker to make a true breakfast sandwich. I'm going to layer my egg and bacon in between two crispy hash browns. So. It all works and I'm super excited to see how this turns out. It's gonna be good. I'm gonna check this. Ah, oh, this smells amazing. I wonder if it'll come out like an entire, oh, okay. Let's see. Thinking I'm gonna do the same thing, flip it over and let it cook. For some reason, I guess the hot plate is at the bottom of this. So I'm gonna let this cook again. Gonna go for another two minutes. I'm gonna get more hash browns ready for the second part of the, the sandwich. Okay, so this should be done. Oh my gosh, yum. Yes. Gonna put this right next to my bacon and I'm gonna make another one. 
And I actually think I need to spray this with like some cooking oil. So, and then I'm gonna let this preheat and then do the second one, repeat the process. Okay, so the egg has cooked and got super fluffy. That was really cool. Oh yes, 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 yes. Actually, if you wanna put cheese on this, that would also be quite nice. So, going with my egg on top. Well, actually, you know what, let's do this. We're going bacon, egg, I'm gonna add some ketchup. And here is my waffle sandwich. <laughs> so cute. Yum. Hash brown breakfast sandwich. <laughs> okay, going in for a bite. I already know I'm gonna make a mess. That is actually really good. Okay, so that was delicious. And I'm probably going to make more of those for my family. Um, I know it's a lot of work if you're using just a waffle maker, but you'd be surprised how college students that live in dorms or people that are just renting rooms these days and don't have a kitchen, use a waffle maker. It's really easy to do. And you know, this kind of ties into a series that I've been doing on my YouTube shorts, by the way, check those out. What I cook when I don't want to cook. And it's pretty much just easy meals that you can kind of throw together. It's little effort. It's not very, um, <clears throat> it's not very difficult to do. And I don't know, I just have those days where I'm using leftovers or just easy ingredients that you can put together and you have a meal. So. I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it. And thanks for watching. Bye.